In theaters today is Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears the Who, starring the voice talents of Jim Carrey, Steve Carell, Carol Burnett, Will Arnett, Seth Rogen, and loads of others. The film was based off of the Dr. Seuss children's book of the same name. Jim Carrey voices the character of Horton, an elephant who hears a cry for help coming from a tiny little speck of dust. Horton decides to help these tiny people, called Hooves, who live in their city of Whoville, which is located on the speck of dust. However, Horton gets tormented from his neighbors, who refuse to believe that a race of tiny people live on a speck of dust. Regardless, Horton pushes on, with the motto that a person is a person, no matter how small. of Ice Age bring you the world of Dr. Seuss as you've never seen it before. Hello? I don't exactly know how to tell you this, but you're living on a speck. Seriously, who is this? Is this Bert from accounting? Jim Carrey. There are people on this speck. <laughs> Absurd. They have a mayor who has 96 daughters and one son named Jojo who all share a bathroom. Whatever that is. Steve Carell. Dr. LaRue, if uh, our world were, say, a tiny speck, Ooh. how would we know? Well, we'd have unexplicable <laughs> tremors, oh. dramatic changes in the weather, and if we didn't achieve stability, oh. our world is headed for disaster. Oh, we're doomed. On March 14th. I want that clover destroyed. I will devour clover. <laughs> <laughs> Then I regurgitate it. Then I'm gonna devour it second time. So two times devoured. <laughs> All right, fat boy, you want some of that? Why? Keep watching the sky. I just know he's gonna jump out somewhere. Hello. <laughs> yes, mate. This is where we get off. Oh! Cool line. Usually I can't think of those things till later. So, Jojo, what's the word? Sweetheart, you need to go to bed. Daddy's having a breakdown. Oh. Ah! 20th Century Fox presents... Even though you can't hear or see them at all... A person's a person, no matter how small. That's my code, my motto. Ah! Ooh, it's just a straight plummet to certain death. Dr. Seuss's Horton Hears a Who. Don't worry, citizens of Whoville! I'm light as a feather. Hmm. I really got into this film. I think the last animated movie I liked this much was Toy Story. I do usually like most animated films, but I still didn't go into this one with huge expectations. I had a bad feeling that they weren't going to get the full use of many of the talented voice actors they used in this film. Luckily, they managed to use all of the actors to their fullest. Some of the best performances, in my opinion, were definitely Jim Carrey as Horton and Steve Carell as the mayor of Whoville. Other great performances were, was Will Arnett as the evil vulture Vlad and Seth Rogen as Horton's tiny little mouse friend Morton. Carol Burnett also did a great job as the bossy kangaroo character that tried to thwart Horton's attempt to rescue the tiny town of Whoville. There were some pretty cool sequences in the film that I really enjoyed. There were a couple of 2D animated scenes that were really interesting to see. Even though the entire movie was in 3D and then out of a blue, a random 2D sequence would come up, they didn't feel really out of place. They were actually welcome because they added a great comedic element to the film. However, those weren't the only funny parts of the movie. I was surprised to find that I actually laughed throughout the entire film. The film's humor came from lots of things, from hilarious lines to some funny looking characters, and even some awesome sight gags. I thought the animation was amazingly done, I loved the look of the film, and the colors were always bright and rich. There wasn't a frame of the film where I wasn't overwhelmed with how good the scene looked. I'd say that it would definitely be the best film based on Dr. Seuss' novel. From the first frame on through the last, the entire film kept me entertained. This film will not only be fun for the kids, but for the adults in the audience as well. 
Most of the jokes the kids will get, but the adults will enjoy them all the same. It's definitely a movie for everyone of all ages. I'd give Horton Hears a Who a solid 4.5 out of 5. Yep. Today on DVD, I Am Legend, starring Will Smith. It was directed by Francis Lawrence, who previously directed Constantine. The film was also based on a 1954 novel written by Richard Matheson. I Am Legend stars Will Smith as the last man on Earth. In 2009, a doctor on a TV news report declares that she has found a cure for cancer in the form of a mutated virus that turns all of mankind into nocturnal zombie-like mutants. Cut to three years later, Robert Neville, a former scientist played by Will Smith, is alone in New York City. All of his family, gone. All of his friends, gone. The only companion he has is his dog, Sam. The only reason he has managed to survive so long is that he is immune to the virus. During the day, Robert treks around New York City, trying to develop a cure for the deadly virus. At night, he hides, because that is when the Dark Seekers come out. Just when Robert is finally about to break down and give up all hope, he finds someone else is out there, when he meets Anna and Ethan. I'm not, I'm not infected! I'm not infected! Please! Nothing happened the way it was supposed to happen. Six billion people on Earth when the infection hit. I'm a survivor living in New York City. I will be at the South Street Seaport every day at midday when the sun is highest in the sky. Now just sleep. Eat your vegetables. Don't just push them around. Eat, eat them. I'm not playing. Morning, Hank. Yeah, midway through the G's. didn't do this. We did. Two disc special edition DVD is concerned, I could have done with a lot more special features. On disc one, you've got the original theatrical release of the film. You've also got four animated comics, each taking place in a different part of the world where there are still survivors. They're pretty cool, but if the creators think that these will satisfy the viewer's hunger for awesome I Am Legend special features, then they should definitely rethink their game plan here. Disc two offers up only the alternate theatrical version of the film. The only difference between this version and the original release is the alternate ending. I can honestly say that I prefer the original ending over the alternate one, but neither ending is true to the ending from the novel from which the film was based. I personally love this movie. I think Will Smith gave one of, if not the best performance of his career. He was very believable as the last man on earth, going insane trying to cope with his situation. I thought that the action was truly intense and the balance of comedy and drama was perfect. With great CGI and special effects, this makes for a fantastic film for any true fan of thriller movies. I'm giving I Am Legend as a film a rating of 4.5 out of 5, but as a DVD itself, I'd give it only a 2.5 out of 5 
just because of the lack of special features.